I'm Linda Jo, and in this video, we'll learn how to define the hours of operation on patch and remediation agents in your Avanti endpoint security environment. First, we'll discuss what the hours of operation setting does, how it works, and why you should use it. Next, we'll go through the steps of defining the hours of operation in an agent policy set. The hours of operation setting determines the time blocks during which a patch agent is enabled on its host endpoint. In other words, when you set an agent's hours of operation, you are specifying the timeframes during which it can operate as an active agent. Now, what do we mean by active agent? When an agent is active, it's considered enabled and it can do the following tasks. Complete Discover Application Updates, or DAU scans, and report the results to the server. Receive patch content deployments from the server. And recognize and implement any changes in your patch policies. So, during the timeframes when an agent is disabled, it's sleeping and won't do any of these tasks. However, the agent will still check in with the server to report its status. On the Endpoints page, on the Patch and Remediation tab, you'll see Online under the Agent Status column and Sleeping under the PR Status column. You've got two important notes to remember. The hours of operation are based on the agent's local time on the endpoint, not the server's local time. The hours of operation only affect processes related to the patch module. Even if the agent is sleeping, other processes related to antivirus definition updates, module installations, or endpoint upgrades will still run. Why should you configure the hours of operation anyway? By applying a specific hours of operation setting, you can configure the agents to operate at optimal hours. For example, if the employees at your company typically work on weekdays only, Setting your agents to only work during the weekend will ensure network bandwidth remains open during the week. And agent tasks won't disrupt your employees during the workday when they're trying to, you know, work. Now that you understand how the hours of operation setting works, let's step through the process of actually applying hours of operation in an agent policy set. Log on to the web console on your endpoint security server. From the navigation menu, select Manage Agent Policy Sets. Next, click the Create button. In this window, we have many options for configuring the agent policy set. If you'd like detailed information on all of these options, please see the Patch and Remediation User Guide on help.avanti.com. For our purposes, we're going to focus on the section labeled Patch Agent Communication. Next to Hours of Operation, click the Define button. In this dialog box, we can see days of the week listed on the left and blocks of time and hours across the top. Any block that's shaded in green indicates when the agent is enabled or active. Any block that's shaded in red indicates when the agent is disabled or sleeping. You can click All to toggle all time units on or off, day to toggle time units for a day on or off, or individual time blocks to toggle blocks of time on or off. You can also select time slots individually. If the employees in my organization work Mondays through Thursdays and were closed on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I'm going to disable the agent on Mondays through Thursdays so that the employees have full access to their workstations during their working days and aren't interrupted by agent tasks. Once you've made your changes, click OK. When you're done configuring the rest of the agent policy set, click Save. The next step is to assign endpoints to your policy set. If you'd like detailed instructions on this process, please see the Patch and Remediation User Guide on help.avanti.com. Going forward, whenever you change the hours of operation, your changes will take effect during the next heartbeat interval, which is when the agent checks in with your endpoint security server. Now you know all about hours of operation for Avanti endpoint security. Thanks for watching.